Oh my god, guys, it only feels like GCSE results day 2018 was very recently. But here we are again, this time for GCSE results day 2019 in only a few days. GCSE results day 2019 is now only a few days away. And for most of you, this is probably going to be your first major results day. Because of this, there are chances that you're either crying, eating comfort food, or checking Twitter for results day memes, or even doing all three at the same time. But fear not, because I'm going to be helping you get through the day and advising you on what happens on the actual day itself and how you can mentally prepare yourself for a GCSE results day 2019. Before we get into the video, if you haven't already, then make sure to add me on Snapchat, that's Mahel Khan, as I'll be posting up to uh, results day, but also you'll be able to see the latest from me as well as university content and just so much more in general. So again, Mahel Khan on Snapchat, that's the place to be beyond the YouTube. I did actually already do a video for GCSE results day 2018, which has nearly 60,000 views. And so if you haven't seen that video, then make sure to check it out over here in this corner. But I thought because of that, I'd make an updated video for GCSE results day 2019, seeing that video did so well. I'm actually going to make this one of my first points rather than one of my last points. Your GCSE results day results do not define you. And the reason I say this is because to this day, I have not been asked about my GCSE results in a deal breaking manner. So I've only been asked about my GCSE results, say if it's background information where I needed to state all of my qualifications. However, it hasn't ever been a case of, have you gotten this at GCSE? If not, sorry, on to the next person. So for most of you, you might be thinking, GCSEs, this is the end of the world. I don't know how I've done. I probably failed. I'm probably going to get shipped off on a crate to some random country or check in Skyscanner for how much plane tickets off to somewhere exotic where you don't have to even think about any of this stuff. But trust me, you don't need to stress that much because if you don't achieve the grades that you uh, want, then it isn't entirely the end of the world. And well, to sh uh, show you just how much GCSEs don't really matter, I only achieved three A's, five B's and three C's at GCSE. And you might be thinking, hang on a minute, that's actually quite decent. And in fact, that's better than one, what I'm expecting. But when I went to an elite grammar school where people were achieving minimum seven A's and A stars, my results were basically underwhelming in comparison to theirs. And so I don't feel that I did very well, but here I am, I'm now a second year management student at the University of Nottingham, which is a Russell Group University, and I know some of you wonder whether GCSEs do matter for Russell Group Universities, and that's what I'm going to quickly touch on next. Personally, I feel that if you're looking to study at universities such as Oxbridge, Imperial and LSE, or even in America, then your GCSEs will matter, and so you should try and do as well as you can. However, if you're just going for a average uh, Russell Group University or even a non-Russell Group University, I believe your GCSEs do not matter too much as long as you achieve a minimum of, I think it's seven in maths and English. Um, it might be six or seven. And for a university such as UCL, they do tend to want you to have a minimum of, I think, five in a language, but if not, you can actually study a language alongside your degree, so it doesn't matter too much. But beyond that, I only believe that GCSEs are a stepping stone onto the next stage of your educational life, whether that be further study in A-levels, IAB and whatnot, or if you're going to start an apprenticeship, or if you're going to go straight into work. So believe me when I say this once again, although it is going to be your first major results day, the day itself and the results are actually kind of minor. Having said that, I'm now going to explain to you what happens on the day itself and the essentials that you need to take with you so that you are prepared for any outcome. Before you do anything, make sure to check when you can uh, collect your results from and where you can collect your results from because you don't want to be running around your school like a loose chicken on the day as this will only add to your stress, especially if you're running late and panicking that you're not going to be able to collect your results on time. The most important thing to do, also do as well is to stay calm. The people around you, whether it be a friend or a staff member, are there to support you. So you can open your results in front of them 
or you could open them in complete privacy. No matter which one you do, they will be there and they will be there to support you. But as I was saying, before you leave the house, there are five essentials that you must take with you. A fully charged mobile phone, photo ID, a pad of paper, a pen, and last but not least, a portable charger. You might be wondering why photo ID? This is so that your school can identify you as you and so that the right person can collect the right results. If you do need someone else to collect the results for you, make sure to let the school know well in advance so that they are prepared to let your results go to someone else rather than holding it back because you're not there. Once you get to your school, it's actually quite a straightforward process. All you need to do is go to the room where your results are being handed out, whether that be a foyer or a sports hall, and then go over to a person who will usually just be sitting there in front of a desk with loads of envelopes and a few sheets with people's names on it. Go over to them and be like, I'm here to collect my results. Show them your ID. This could literally be any photo ID. It doesn't really have to be government ID. So you don't have to bring your passport along just as long as they know it's you. And then usually they'll ask you to sign a piece of paper which has your name on it so that they can identify you later on if anything goes wrong. And then once you've done that, you get given an envelope with your results inside and from that moment, you're free to do whatever you want. Whether that be opening your results straight away on the spot in that location with everyone around you or in complete privacy somewhere else. Personally, I opened it right on the spot because I wasn't really that worried and I just wanted to know whether I had gotten into the school's sick form that I was at at the time or whether I would be moving school for a different sick form. However, there were plenty of other people who decided that they didn't want to open their results on the spot and wanted some privacy and so they decided to either go home or just walk off a tiny bit, whether it be to the toilets or just an empty room to open their results with complete privacy. As I said before, it is completely up to you where you want to open your results and who you want to open your results around. But no matter what happens, there will always be someone there to support you. After you've opened your results, that's basically it for results day and therefore that concludes the video. I really do wish you the best on GCSE results day and hope that you do get the results that you would want. But even if you don't, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. I've done a video in depth covering the topic of are GCSEs important and do they really matter? So if you haven't seen that already, then make sure to click the info card over in this corner and just have a watch of it and it'll hopefully calm you down a bit more and just change your perception on how important or unimportant GCSE results day is. But that is basically going to be it for the video guys and girls. If you did enjoy it, then make sure to leave a like, comment below and subscribe and turn post notifications on so that you don't miss out on a single video. Make sure to follow me on social media, that's at Mahelcard on both Snapchat and Instagram, at Mahelx on Twitter and official Mahelcard on Facebook. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like to see from me as well and whether this has been helpful to you. Also, be sure to comment down below what you actually ach achieve in your results and what you predict yourself getting mm. in your results. And this has been Mahel, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.